Hello, my name is Carol. Welcome to my sewing room. Today I'm going to be chatting about some holiday souvenirs that I bought from my recent trip to Florida. I have quite a bit of fabric here and actually it's really heavy so um, it's a good job I took a spare suitcase with me. I also managed to catch one of the famous Joann's pattern sales so I did pick up some patterns as well and I also got some bits and bobs, some wool and some other things. So I thought it'd be fun to share those with you. So oh, let's get cracking. Now for some of the fabrics, I of course I will use, uh, I'll drape it over my mannequin so you can get more of an idea what the pattern looks like. I'm hoping I'm going to remember where I got all these things and I should really write it down. I'm going to start off with some fabrics I got from Joann's. Now, first of all, there is this uh, piece of linen here, and I think it's a viscose cotton linen mix in this kind of red. Now, very brave, but I thought I would just make a pair of summer shorts out of that um, because I recently, I had a pink pair of linen shorts and they were so exhausted I threw them away, so hopefully that can replace them. Now I did get a couple of pieces of pop knit. I uh, was actually shopping with Jen and Trish today in Jen's sewing room and Pinky's farm and I was moaning a little bit about pop knit but they said they would use it mainly for nightwear and they're right actually it would be perfect. What I say about it is it doesn't have much recovery so for t-shirts can get a bit sloppy but for nightwear it's absolutely perfect. So I picked up a couple of pieces here and as you can see I'll bring my mannequin a little bit nearer to you. So it's just a very simple floral design with the yellow flowers and the green and this is just going to be pyjamas. The second bit I picked up was this. Now this is a really thin cotton. It's 100% cotton but it's really thin cotton jersey but again it's going to be for summer pyjamas so that will be perfect and that's kind of got these butterflies on it. I thought that was really pretty, really pretty colour, lilac my favourite colour. So those were a couple of pop knits I picked up. Now I also picked up, now this will be for autumn, but it's a lovely piece of double brush poly which we don't seem to be able to get very easily in the UK. So I know it's autumnal colours, but I thought while I was there, because I'm not sure I'm going to be back over this year, I will pick that up. And I think, <laughs> we haven't even got proper spring yet and I'm already thinking autumn, but yeah, I thought that was quite nice. That'll make just a nice top or maybe um, uh, a, maybe a dress but I would think top really. Now on to some pieces that I bought from the sewing studio. Now that's uh, North Orlando Maitland and I actually met a couple of other la lovely ladies there. I met Grace um, was from So Lovely with Grace and the lovely Deb from Deb's Way. And while I was there, I picked up another piece of linen. And this is a blue kind of denim linen. Uh, again, it's a viscose, no, sorry, linen cotton mix. Beautiful. Now, the really funny thing is the following week I saw Trish and she said she'd bought some linen from Sewing Studio and she made a pair of trousers and it was this exact stuff. <laughs> what a coincidence. So. I now I've seen this actually made up on someone um, uh, it looks fantastic she actually used the selvage as well to have this nice little frayed bit I'm not sure I'm clever enough to do that but yep amazing two bits of linen they had um, kind of a five dollar yard um, some some shelves and I found a couple of pieces there and this is a crepe now what I really loved about this is the colour variants. Actually it stands out really well on the camera. Um, but yeah, just to make some kind of blouse in the summer. But can you see the way that it fades on the bottom? Now whether it's meant to do that, I don't know. But I really like the look of that so I'm going to try and work that in somehow. The other piece I picked up and I said to Grace and Deb, I think I win the 
prize for the most boring piece of fabric but I really liked it it's again it's a, another crepe and it's just kind of on a light green background you've got these green stripes again I'm thinking just like a summery top summery blouse um, but I really liked it and I think it looks super with kind of white trousers or something like that but yeah a little bit boring but quite pretty now the next piece of fabric was I was heavily encouraged I think we got it from Hobby Lobby to buy this piece of fabric and again Trish has just picked some up as well we saw this fabric and we felt the quality and it is beautiful it is a linen mix again like a linen twill like a viscose twill it's it's just beautiful it feels wonderful and this is going to make it's a bit more raspberry in real life than it's showing up here but it's going to make the most beautiful summer dress um, it's not very sheer so yeah I, I would probably wear a slip under it but it was in Hobby Lobby and I think it has been on sale since I bought it um, because Trish got it for a far better price than I did but could not resist that and the ladies told me that the colour really suited me so I, I think I got a couple of yards of that actually now this piece I actually can't remember where I bought it I'm thinking Hobby Lobby as well but it is this lovely light green jersey knit um, so it's double face so you've got a smooth side here almost like a cotton jersey on that side but on this side I don't know if you can see it's got the checkerboard effect and I'm thinking one of my quick sew cardigans for this because because you've got both sides that will make it's gonna make a really super spring cardigan I've got a card, lot of cardigans bought cardigans in my wardrobe that I've had for years and years and really kind of the style of them has gone now because they're all kind of short ones with little pockets and I need to start replacing those so that is going to be perfect now this next piece of fabric I had to buy and I've made a top out of it before because I bought it last time I was there but I never want this fabric to be out of my life so I managed to get a load more of it I think I got what was left on the, the bolt so whilst I won't make anything straight away with it it's a really soft French terry loop back French terry I made a style arc uh, sunny top that's the name of it um, from it but I want to make more from it in the future so I bought a load more because I always want this fabric in my life um, even when the top wears out so I bought a great supply of it this final piece I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I saw it I liked it and just had to buy it it is a quilted double face so it's got navy on the back and quilted cotton kind of fabric now obviously it's quilted I just loved it and in my mind I'm thinking maybe a jacket out of it but I'm really not sure of a pattern or where to go for it but I just thought I, I've never seen anything like this in the UK let's not miss the opportunity let's grab this now and and see what I can do with it so I think I got about two and a half yards of it um, so at point some point will it become a jacket I do hope so it's very bright it's very jazzy I know but um, I just couldn't resist buying that and that is really heavy <laughs> So another shop we went to was a thrift store and I was encouraged to buy a couple of pieces there. I did see this lovely pair of pillowcases here in this really nice, soft, good quality cotton. It's not too see-through, but I purchased these because I thought they would be perfect for the Project Dresser Girl dresses when that comes round in September. Now that's something that Mary from Marie Sews uh, does every year in September, the Project Dresser Girl. So I'm starting to think now to grab some fabrics together to make a few dresses for that. And the second one, I was told by uh, Jen and Trish that I needed to buy this and it is a, uh, a dress 
a very long dress with lots of tiers. It's got uh, one, two, three, four tiers. So there's a lot of fabric here and it's a chambray. Now what they're saying is that I should turn this into a skirt and I think I most probably will. I'm going to give it a good wash and I can just put a waistband on that and just have a really nice floaty kind of summer skirt or something like that. But yeah, so that was a couple of things I picked up from the thrift shop. So from Joann's I did pick up a couple of things that I normally would buy online from Amazon but it is nice to actually buy it in uh, person so that was the fusible fuse and shape for things like bags it's quite a stiff one and this has been recommended to me sulky now I for my embroidery machine I normally use the sulky tear away and I've got the cutaway but this is the sticky plus so this should stop me having to use the spray um, sticking the stabiliser onto the fabric. So I'm going to give that a try, but that was really nice to see that in person and buy that. I also went on a bit of a crochet binge when I was flying over to the uh, States um, and I was making some pot holders, which you need 100% cotton. Now I went to several wool shops in uh, my area and I could not find 100% cotton that has the variegated colours in it because that makes quite a boring project so much more fun so I grabbed those um, so yeah I've got some lovely colours some pinks and some sort of rainbows so I was really pleased to pick that up even if I might not be using it immediately as I can't get it here that was great to get hold of so that leads me on to patterns and I did get quite a few I got about 10 I think here so I start with a couple of new looks that I bought this one that Jen told me was the perfect dress for me. So I bought that one, that's New Look 6600. It's a wrap dress. Now I would probably make the one with uh, sleeves, but that looks a very pretty, simple dress. Um, she says. <laughs> this one, I've been meaning to buy this for a long time. New Look 6733 with that kind of wrap front. Um, I really want to give this one a go. The only thing I worry about there is it's actually quite short. I would want it a tiny bit longer, I think. So I'm going to measure the pattern pieces against me before I cut that one out. But what I did like about it is it's got a lovely tie at the back. So those obviously wrap round and have the tie. The only thing, of course, you've got to be careful is normally I would buy something like a metre and a half for a top. I think that's going to use a lot more fabric with those ties. I saw this one in the drawer and because um, it was a good price I thought I'd get another copy that's one of my favourites New Look 6216. I use this top all the time and I have made a couple of those trousers because my pattern pieces are just so thin now I thought I'd get none on this before it goes out of print. McCall's were also slightly reduced so I picked up I don't have many McCall's patterns actually, so it's always nice to have a proper look at them. So this is 8067, and I've got my eye on that very simple blouse there. It's got no collar. Um, I find collars a bit annoying with my hair. I don't know if anyone's got sort of hair my length, but I do, I do find them a bit annoying. But so that for me will be the perfect little blouse. A couple of you have recently made this, I know, and that's McCall's 7600, the colour blocked top. Now, I re if I could copy that, I will be very happy getting those exact fabrics because that looks beautiful on the front. The only thing is, it's got a, does come down low at the back. That I would change um, because I think that was great when the trousers were a bit sort of clingier but now trousers are going flowy I don't want kind of a flowy top and flowy trousers uh, being short that would just drown me out but that's the line drawings on there lots of options for color blocking and the last McCall's one I know has been made by um, I think Zelda Zelda sews made this one so that's uh, McCall's 7286 again bit of color blocking on there but it does look a nice shape kind of t-shirt uh, it's got some lots of options for colour there so that's another one and then I went on to the butterick became 1.99 so I had a look through theirs 
Um, I do have quite a few butter rake actually, but I've managed to pick up a couple. This one I got my daughter in mind for this one. It's 6455 because this version here has got slight little peplum and the kind of floaty uh, sleeves. Oh, you see it better in that version there. So I think she might really like that one. So I grabbed her. This one, um, a lot of people have made this one again. Simple t-shirt, you've got the color blocking or the option to put lace on it. Whether I would do that or not, not sure. But um, always, always pick up a t-shirt pattern wherever I can. This is an interesting one, Butterick 6A480. It looks like a plain dress, but it's got some interesting lines on it. You can see better on the black. And of course you can see better on the line drawings. So that could create a really nice shape for a simple dress. So that is for wovens. Um, so that'd be really interesting. I picked up this. Now this is very similar to a Butterick pattern I do have already, 6494, but I like the look of this kind of um, jersey top. You've got the jersey dress, which is very similar again. It's got these side seam pockets sorry, side uh, princess line pockets. Um, you've got the trousers as well and kind of a tunic. So really good value pattern there. And finally, I bought this one, Butterick 6327. It's a pair of kind of jeans um, to be made out of wovens, not stretch wovens, but normal wovens. Um, it's a Catherine Tilton jean pattern. I'm, I'm really quite scared of it, but I have done a lot of similar patterns. Um, so I'm wondering if that could really work. As you can see, they're slim leg, they're not flared, but yeah, might give those a go. The final two things I bought were bought clothing, but I'm going to make something to go with them. Now, obviously we went to Orlando, we did a lot of Disney, and uh, we just, my husband and I just picked up some fun t-shirts. So I picked up, my favorite character of all time is Piglet. Now, this is not a subtle t-shirt, but it's 100% cotton and it is going to make the best pair of pajamas. All I need to do now is find some cotton jersey to make a pair of shorts to go with this husband was quite jealous so he got a t-shirt of his favorite character of all time Tigger <laughs> who actually I find quite annoying Tigger for me was always annoying so I mean yeah this isn't subtle it says on the back T I double grrr on the, on the footprints so again for him I'm either going to pick up a just it's gonna be easier just to get a pair of black shorts isn't it not try and match that orange but yeah so I'm going to have to find some cotton jersey and uh, make some pajama shorts to match these two very subtle t-shirts I do hope you enjoyed seeing um, all the things that I purchased when I was over in America the reason I get so excited is I don't have many physical stores around me where I live in the south coast. That is shortly to change, I gather, because the wonderful store beyond the pink door is heading down to Dorset. So that's going to hopefully change my life. But yeah, always great to go over to America, look around Joanne's and Hobby Lobby and see their choice. And of course, I met up with some amazing people, which I know I've already spoken about before. But thank you very much for joining me. I do hope you enjoy me again in my sewing room for either hashtag Friday Sews or anything else that might pop up in my life and I do a video about. See you shortly and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.